The Columbia River was the river for sockeye salmon, excuse me, for Chinook or king salmon. It was eight to 10 million salmon coming through a year. Now there's less than a half a million, actually far less than a half a million and decreasing all the time. It also produced more Chinook, steelhead and coho salmon than any other river in the entire world. That's how bountiful and productive that river was. Fraser River, which I'll talk about later, is known for its coho salmon. And that's an interesting story in itself. Salmon, next one, is an ecocultural keystone species, a prime indicator of environmental health. Indigenous peoples have cared for, since time out of mind for thousands of these salmon stocks and other fish sustainably, successfully. People always were aware that food could be scarce, that starvation could happen. And that was always in people's minds because occasionally, no matter what was done, it did happen. And that keep people real, real keen about conservation. You know, it's amazing to me, and I'll talk more about this in a few minutes, it's amazing to me that so many scientists that I work with find it incredulous that the, uh, the indigenous people could be conscious enough to think about tomorrow's food supply when they had to work at getting that food supply every single day. And they had to pray and conduct ceremonies to maintain that food supply. So that they were so concerned on a daily basis about feeding their families and so on that this was always a driving force for sustainability because they had experienced those hard times in the past on occasion. 